What's up guys and welcome back to Play Dead's Inside. In today's episode, I have to tell you that I had to redo today's episode. Um, yesterday I recorded over an hour of me getting through all of this and the video came out all laggy and all choppy and just unusable so this is actually my second playthrough of this part of the game. But I'm not going to weigh you down with that, I'm just going to let you guys know that this playthrough is probably going to be a little bit faster than when I originally played it and these are definitely not my original reactions unfortunately anyway let's go ahead and get started so I already know what I gotta do here so you know maybe this will help this will help some people out if they're getting stuck in the game or something like that we could use this as a guide leave this bad boy right here Run my happy butt right back. Kid can't hold his breath. Go, 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 go. So yeah, it was an hour worth of footage. I am so far ahead of where I'm at. Or actually, taking, just taking a glance at the load points tells me I'm actually not that far ahead. But, it sure felt that way. Just make it right through this vent. Man, you should have seen how long it took me to get through this area. It was awful. And we make it right in here. Let's go. Now we got to do the jump. Ooh. Jump. Oh, wrong way. One more time. One more time. You can do it. There we go. So you remember that hairy thing that was following us earlier? Yeah, it's gonna make an, appear uh, an appearance soon. And, spoiler alert, it is not nice. There it is. Looks like a human, doesn't it? But it is much stronger than one, so... The one thing that it is weak to is light. So we just gotta keep our light nice and... On him. Her. It. Oh god, oh god. Stay away from me. So you just gotta keep it at bay. Ah! Uh! Or what it does is it jumps onto your ship, breaks your window, and then drowns you. Huh! Okay, we could just. Nope! You stay right there. Stay right there. And then all we gotta do to keep him out, which another thing that took me forever to find out, and I died a lot in here, was all you had to do was this. Keep it out. Okay. And then from here, all you gotta do is... Just hit it a couple times. One. And that's exactly why it killed you, because the moment that you hit it, your light turned off and it would just scramble all over you. It was awful. And we're out. To the left of this area, there are stairs, or there is a ladder that is unreachable. So we're just gonna keep it moving forward. Slight spoiler. This game, the mechanics of this game get used in a pretty cool way in a little bit. And I hope you guys can really understand and appreciate the level of depth that a game that seems kind of simple actually has. Go right through here. Come on, kid. Push! There we go. Oh, God. I forgot about that. And... Okay. Land nice and hard in the sand, but you're tough. Keep it moving. Okay, so this is nice and spacious, but moving forward, there's a small little puzzle that I'll explain once I get there. Um, it gets kind of convoluted between all the things that you got to do, so I'll probably skip some of the more tedious parts 
But okay, behind this... Behind this is some crazy shit that I'm gonna... I just, I really want to show you guys. So, okay. I press the lever and it shows a number. You step on this and it lowers the number. Once that number is all the way down, it opens that door. So, all we need is to get all these guys. There's a bunch more of these guys just lying around. And we need to pick them up. So, here we go. If I remember correctly, you go down first. And then you go off to the right. We're gonna use that later to get some more of our guys up here. But first, We need to make it down to what's gonna be our posse. Look at him just sitting there. And there's the helmet. But the difference here is that, well, you know what? I'll let you see it. We're gonna use the helmet in a, in a very cool way. And here. Whew. First time I did that, I was pretty sure I was gonna drown. But turns out this kid is not so bad at holding his breath. Or at least not as bad as I thought he was. Okay. Get up here. Climb up the rock. And then we turn into Indiana Jenkins. Huh. Huh. Come on. Seriously though, this kid had to be some like high level boy scout to have the skills that he has right now. Come on, and then we jump up to it, put it on, and we fall. But they catch us, because they're our homies. And now we actually have control of all these guys, which is the first time that you're introduced to this in this game. So actually, now we have uh, a couple different mechanics that we can use with all these guys. Like for example, they can lift us up and throw us. Come on, give it a good one. But if you read the board, we actually need Including myself, we need 18 of these guys. Or 19 of these guys. Come on, fellas. Get up here. Get in. And off we go. Done with that area. Now... Actually, there's some guys over here that I think I can do with this amount of fellas helping me out. So the goal is to make it through that little shaft right there, but these guys can't throw me high enough to reach that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this. All the way back. And... Jump right up here. And now when they push the vent, I mean when they push the cart, which you can see right here, you just need to jump on the cart and bada beam! You made it. jump through here and we find our guys well a couple more of our guys so got a lot more to go I 
I still can't get over how beautiful this game actually is. Okay, so here's how we do this one. We get on this, we pull this, and then once it goes up, we bring this right under it, and there it goes. Otherwise, we're not able to make it far enough to pull this these guys out of there. Comes up, we jump, pull it, fall. They totally don't fall on us and kill us, and now we got a group, um, uh, three more guys. Now we got three more guys to our arsenal. And these are all construction. So one of the things that I said in my last playthrough of this, the one that got deleted, is that the reason that they made these helmets is to create like the perfect work environment where one mine can control a bunch of workers and just optimize um, production but then that begs the question is, are these guys humans or are they machines they don't seem to take damage like humans would right like I just dropped them off from a really high area and they just stood back up no problem so how does that work Okay, we got these guys. One side. <laughs> and we're gonna go all the way to the left, back to where my boy was all up in that cell. And we're gonna bust him out, along with a couple more of our buddies. Here we go. Come on. Lift. And. We added one more. And now this one was hard for me. But it is actually a. Oh. It is actually a timing puzzle. So we just bring it down. And. As they pass the second gate. You. Well, I did it perfect that time. First try. Woo! Okay, anyway. So we got these guys, including the one I named Uncle Bob. You see him? He's the one with no underwear on. I mean, no pants. He's just running around. I don't know how that happened. Why would... Okay, if, if someone is controlling these guys, then something weird happened to Bob. It's not your fault. You were under mind control. But why would they tell you to take your pants off? I just, I don't understand. Anyway. All we gotta do now is go up. Cause one, there are more guys to my left. In this mine shaft, what is this? A mine shaft? Is it a factory? I don't even know. It looks like a mine. Combination of both. Then we just push these guys, and this is what I was talking about. We're gonna push these guys, and when we get back to them, they're gonna be fine. So I'm confused as to whether they're actually humans or just robots that are specifically made to take orders though with how fucked up everything has been I'm leaning more towards humans and come on there we go so we just go over there and then there's this guy no he is not going to get up he is definitely dead for all intents and purposes So we're going to just casually throw him off. And he's fine. Okay. Come on, fellas. Run. So 
We got these guys, boom, go back downstairs, pick up the guys to the left, go to the right, and we are going to step foot into probably the most dangerous area that I've been through in this entire game. I mean, it is legitimately a pretty difficult puzzle, at least for me, it was, um, and it requires a lot of timing, otherwise your kid gets like, well, I guess you guys will see. Come on, fellas. We're all here. The gang's all here. And I got these guys, too. All right. Everybody on there? We're just missing two. This guy, which I will... You know, just you guys can watch me. And it's open and dangerous as shit. All right. Boom. I, so I feel like that's that's strong enough to, to create an EMP, right? Because it blows the helmet right off of us. Uh, and this is good design from the developers. They put this box here because as you push it out it gets absolutely destroyed so you already know you probably should not step out there unless you're planning on running and run we shall ah! boom let's go let's go let's go let's go we gotta pull this lever Huh? I don't want to die. One more. Come on. Come on. Boom. Go, 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 go. I wonder what the hell that is. When I first reached this puzzle, I originally thought all you had to do was this. Stop it at the ladder. Protect yourself at the ladder. And then just go through. But... What you actually have to do is time it. The reason that they put this here is so you can time it with the explosion, which you can do now, and then have it protect you as you go up like that. Bada beam. Wow. The feeling of going deaf from an explosion. And run, 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 and we made it. That one also took me absolutely forever last time. Okay, we get up here, we push this. Oh, no, come back. I made it on my first try last time. And we made it. And this is where I left that last playoff. So that last play, that last play threw off. So guys, that is all the time that I have for this video today. We kind of like did a speed run of that last playthrough that I did. Um, I'm really upset that the first one didn't come through because I had all my original reactions. Um, but I'm glad I could do this for you guys. I'm still enjoying this game a whole lot, and I hope to show you the next part. By the way, I haven't done the next part yet, so if you're watching this video, don't worry. I haven't spoiled it for myself. But either way, thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. If you did and you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, make sure you hit that dislike button. But either way, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.